let's learn how to create auto resizing background rectangles for text in Illustrator in this simple tutorial. On a blank canvas, come to your type tool and create some point type by just clicking on the canvas and then typing out your desired heading or piece of text. So let's use the selection tool and let's just quickly scale it up and then let's use the character and paragraph panels just to center align it. Let's change the font and let's use the align panel, align to artboard and just horizontally and vertically center it. You can do this to any point type with any font, any size, it doesn't matter. So with your type selected, come to your appearance panel, click to create a new fill and click and drag the fill underneath characters. Double click the fill to change the colors so that we're not contrasting with the text. So we've got black text, so let's just say, let's create a yellow background for now. And with the fill selected, come to FX, convert to shape and rectangle. Shape will automatically be set to rectangle. Make sure your options are set to relative so this will move them with the text. And you can increase or decrease the width and the height either using the arrow keys or by inputting manual values. And check on preview to see how your text is looking. Once you're happy, click OK. You'll notice with some fonts that the text isn't perfectly centrally aligned with the rectangle. So to fix this with the fill selected, again come to FX and go to Distort and Transform and Transform. And here now, under Move, you can use the vertical slider to get your text more centrally aligned with the rectangle. So I'm just going to do this very quickly, but you can take more time than me. Once you're happy with it, click OK. And remember, in the Appearance panel, both the rectangle and this transform we've just applied are fully adjustable. So if you just click them, it'll bring the share options back up and you can make changes to this then accordingly and simply click OK. So we've added our background rectangle. Let's put this to the test. Grab the Type tool, click. And from here, as you can see, as I change the text, the background rectangle changes with it. And anytime I want to make changes, selection tool and come back to the appearance panel and you can change the color here, the size of the rectangle, and also the position of the rectangle in the transform options. So there you have it. Very simple auto resizing background rectangles for point text. I hope you found that helpful. And if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Keep on designing and I'll see you for the next tutorial.